Welcome back to Clooney Garage, it's Fred here. As I mentioned in the previous episode, we're doing the suspension on the VP Commodore race car. Have a go at this thing here. It's starting to look the business. So you would have seen from the last episode, we've dropped all our suspension out. K-frame is in. So therefore, we've got to put new suspension back in. So, first thing we did was we went to see our friends at Low Fabrications in Sydney. Go check them out online. They've got an amazing online store. And you go up and see them in Girraween up in Sydney. Great Commodore Holden specialists. They'll fix you up with a bunch of stuff, including, check this out. So they will do fully powder coated front and rear sway bars. So we just pick them up. They are a uh, piece of art, just quietly. And in the kit comes the following. You get your polyurethane bushing kit, 27 mil for the front, 22 mil for the rear. That all comes in the kit. You get your, uh, obviously, your sway bar linkage kits, or nolithane, and that's going to be good fun. We've got this, quite a few pieces in there that'll keep me entertained for hours. Lucky I've got a, one that I can cross-reference. You will get rear sway bar shackles, but you have to reuse your ones from your existing car. So we're just going to clean those up and get them painted before we put them on. And you do have to reuse either your own fixtures for the sway bars. We went and bought some new ones, so everything's nice and pretty. That's the sway bar situation. Let's take you on to our power steering upgrade. All right, so I wouldn't think the power steering is normally a uh, performance mod, but in this case it will be because our last rack was pretty well shagged. So let me take you through the whole uh, power steering rack we've got here. So this is a brand new item from Petters. So it's been fully rebuilt for our VP. Brand new boots, brand new shafts, all new bearings, linings, all re been repacked, all the rest of it. And what you don't get in the kit, though, is all the fixtures and fittings. So that's our original one, nut and bolt and washer. So we went to our specialty fasteners and got brand new high tensile fixtures. Uh, you don't get any lines. So that's our old factory pressure line there. You can see that's, you know, been, that's off the VNSS from yesterday that I showed you. So that's our brand new one from Rare Spares. And as you can see, it looks a lot nicer. We've just got to fit our little O-ring on there. Comes with the O-rings in here. Um, that's all go. Now, Rare Spares didn't stock a return line, but we just got ours and I got onto the Dremel and cleaned it up a bit. I'll put a new O-ring on there as well. Uh, and that um, rubber hose is actually in good nick and these fixtures are fine. So that will be okay for that side of things. And then if you move up to the end of the power steering rack here, Obviously, you've got your alignment nut here. We've got some brand new ones, so we'll chuck those on. And then, obviously, that's our old tie rod end off the VN. And look at it. Now, the bushing's all... That's a much better days, doesn't it? Look, a bit of a Mando or something's gone in there. There's Return of the Jedi or something, you wouldn't know. And um, the side of this sort of shell's cracked. and So you can't reuse these. They're just like god-awful, those things. So, again, dear old rare spares, hit us up with a brand new set of tie rod ends. And obviously brand new bushings and all the rest of it. Brand new captive nut on here. So that'll be the go. So we're not going to know ourselves with this brand new power steering rack. We're going to have any more play in it. And hopefully it'll last the lifetime of the car. Now one interesting thing we notice between VN and VPs. Is that there's a little bracket that goes onto the top of the power steering shaft here. That is actually different between a VN and a VP power steering rack. So luckily we've got both. And um, yeah, this is actually a VP rack. Uh, according to Pettis, and it's an exchange unit. So you give them yours, and then they give you theirs, and it's all been rebuilt. Happy days. All right, before we get into the coilovers, I wanted to show you what a factory strut spring and absorber setup looks like. So this is out of the VN. And as you'll see, I think this has had some leveled springs put in it, so someone's actually done a bit of, bit of work to it. But this actual whole shock assembly is all one unit, all the way down to the hub, which we never knew about. So we went, we're looking at coilovers and all the rest of it, and people are saying you're going to have to weld and cut and all this sort of stuff. So that was quite frightening, really, when you start to think about, because we thought, could you undo it here? And we, yeah, we just couldn't work it out until we got online and spoke to Low Fabrication. And yep, they will give you a whole new unit that's been rebuilt with an absorber and a spring and an adjustable strut top. And then obviously we'll talk about our hub adapters and that as well, which we'll need for our brakes. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what the originals look like, and then we'll put our uh, new specky coilovers that we're going to be using right now. All right, Clooney Garage fans, feast your eyes on these things here. These are some Coney fully adjustable VP 
coilovers. Look at the size difference between the factory items. So we actually couldn't get our wall control wheels actually into the fronts here because that housing was actually fouling on the, um, the inside of the wheel. But I don't think we're going to have any sort of troubles with these things here. Fully adjustable strut tops for camber and caster and uh, shock adjustments as well. It comes with our little coney little dial. We've used one of those before, the Eagle Trim. And um, take a look at these things. I-bar springs. And these are a piece of art, really. Have a go at these things here. As I mentioned when I was showing you the stock one, this is all one unit. So the hub and everything is all attached to the, actually welded on to the body of the shock absorber. So this is all one unit. So very, very interesting. And then on to our stub axle, which we'll talk about in a second. And yep, obviously this will fix up our power steering, which I've just been showing you with our tie rod. But that's them. They are cool and they're pretty lightweight too compared to the, you know, I'm using, that's one arm. I could not do that with the stock ones. So they're very special, very special indeed. And the main thing is just having an adjustable camera top up there so we can really dial in up to four degrees negative in the front, which is what we want because we want this thing to go around corners very, very fast. So that is going to be a big help. All right, now let's get on to my favorite topic. VT hub adapters so we can fit some big brakes. All right, Clooney Garage fans, another reveal coming. Oh my God, look at these. These are some beautiful custom VT hub adapters so we can fit some big brakes. These are a full floating hub compared to the ones you get on the, onto the, the standard VP with the brake caliper hacking as the hub as well. So that's good fun. But as you can see, these are very well made. Again, from Low Fabrications, huge shout out to Chubby and the boys, they've done a great job here. So the kit includes two front adapters, two seals. Your seal obviously goes onto the base of your stub axle like that. Then you hub, put your two wheel bearings in, hub adapter goes on. And then obviously you tie it off with your um, crown nut and split pin. You actually get your Timken bearings. They come in the kit and obviously come in different size. Big one at the back, small one at the front. And grease all them up and put them in. And then to tie it all off, you've got your little end caps there and obviously your split pin to go through your crown nut. So that'll be good fun. Get those in. And then we can actually start to fit our Walkinshaw wheels back on. And then obviously you can see some beautiful mounting holes here. For some Harrop brakes. Oh my God. It's really starting to come alive, this car. Kinsey! Do you like the new suspension? Good girl. Not much of a fan, but she knows it's all for a good cause. And... For Fred Jr, this will be super safe with some big brakes and obviously so we can fit our beautiful wheels on and start hitting the track. So I've just done a bit of a mock fit up here of our power steering rack as you can see. That's all in, mounted up. Now this is the top of our struts, you can see got all this adjustment which would be fantastic to go negative camber and do all that sort of good stuff. And there it is there, that's looking beautiful isn't it? So. That's our beautiful assembly. I've just, nothing's done up tight. I've just mocked it up just to make sure that it all hangs together. And it certainly looks like it is. So we're all attached to our K-frame. Strut assembly is in. Power steering, tie rods are in. Now we've just got to do our sway bars. So we're making some good progress here on a Saturday and we'll keep going. Well, Frankie, you're starting to find out all the differences between a six cylinder and a V8. Take also moved yourselves into a uh, brake line re replacement from a V8 donor car. And getting those out is good fun. It was great, wasn't it? Yep. So we got fuel and brake fluid on ourselves. Oh no. But really, we just wanted the brake line. Oh. It looks like the um, the fuel lines might be the same-ish. Right. But, oh, you take them one out, you got to take them all out. That's it. Well, we had to swap our brake lines because obviously with our new brake booster and our master cylinder, the geometry is all different to where it mounts up in the engine bay, Frankie. It does. That's right. Well, there you go. We're going to clean all these up a la Perkins style, Frankie, and make it look like a real race car. When you say we, you mean you. That's right. All right, Clooney Garage fans, it's getting a bit late here, but our sway bar linkages are all in, and that was good fun fitting them up. And that's obviously really good fun trying to fit a sway bar bracket by yourself. And that's... uh. All been done now, thank you. So let's take a bit of a look here. 
and obviously we haven't tightened all that up we'll just mock it up there that's how the sway bar fits so we've followed the uh, nolothane sort of kitten instructions and it's looking very sanitary in here look at this again i've got to tighten everything up i've just mocked it up and uh get our brake lines in on that note don't do it for daryl do it for dale catch you later